Hello everyone and welcome to Alisha's Guide to CSS. I'm Alisha, your instructor for the course. In this course, we'll be learning how we can style our HTML documents using CSS. Now, why are we doing that? Well, because we need to beautify our web pages. Beautifying your web pages make them all the way more attractive. So why not do that, right? Now, in this course, we start from the very basics and go till we are advanced. So let's get started. Now in this first video, what we are going to do is we are going to cover the introduction to CSS, syntax of CSS and how we can insert CSS into our HTML. There are three ways to do that. Let's see what are those. Hello everyone. My name is Alicia and welcome to Learn by Watch. In today's session, we will see how we can start with CSS. So today's agenda is introduction to CSS, how to insert CSS, syntax and comments in CSS. So let's get started. Now what is CSS? Now CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet as you can see here and is used for styling your HTML documents. Now if I have to compare CSS, HTML and JavaScript to a human body I would say that HTML is the skeletal of your body, CSS is the styling or the skin of your body and JavaScript is all the motions that your body can perform like walk, run, sit, stand, all of that. Now before getting started with the syntax, let's look into how can we insert CSS into our files. Now there are three ways in which we can do that. We have external CSS, internal CSS and inline CSS. What exactly are these? Well, external CSS is when I make an external CSS file like this one and then later connect it to my HTML file. Now internal CSS is when I have my CSS inside my HTML itself. Then what is inline CSS? Well, inline CSS is when I write the CSS right next to the tag where I want the styling to happen. We will understand it better by seeing all of these examples that we are going to see now along with the syntax. Let's type some HTML first. So this is my HTML file. Let's say hello and then let me have a h1 saying hello world and h2 saying how are you another h2 saying I am good and a paragraph tag with some lorem ipsum and then close this tag this is your para p tag we'll just remove some part of it because it's too big yes so perfect now let's write some external CSS for it. Now to write CSS, first you must mention the tag that is your select over here. So let's first decide what we want to style. Let's style this h1 which says hello world. So I will have h1 and then open curly bra braces and close curly braces. Okay. And then what I am going to do here is we must have property and then value, right? Property and then value. So here my property is, let's say I want to change the text color. So color is my property and value is blue. And I will save it. Once I save it and I go back to my page to see how it actually looks, so this is how your page looks. Hello world, how are you? I'm good. And then it has all the paragraph, but we don't see the blue color here, do we? No. So what went wrong? Well, if you would pay attention properly, you would see that although I've written correct CSS, correct HTML, but I did, but did I link it to HTML? Did I link my CSS to HTML? Well, the answer is no. So we must link it first using a link tag and in href we must add the name of our file or path of our file. 
Now I must mention here that both hello.html and hello.css are in the same folder for me and that is why I don't need to add the path. But if you have them in different folders, you must mention the path here. Now let's save it and see. Now when I refresh, I get the blue color here. Let's start styling other tags. So we also have H2 and all of that. Now let's see that by adding internal CSS. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a style tag. Now style tag. Now what style tag will do is, now style tag will help me write CSS inside my HTML file. So here we go. So I have decided to style all my H2s here. So H2, the syntax remain the same. Then it will be property and then some value followed by semicolon. Okay. So let's write something. So let's say I want the font size for my H2 to be 100 pixels. Now that is huge, but let's see how it looks. I've saved it and then I go here and refresh and you can see, wow, how big is this? Let's just decrease the size. Yeah. yeah. So this is how you can do internal CSS. Now what if I want some inline CSS? So let's do some inline CSS on our P tag. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type attribute style equal to, then you start quotes and inside this quotes, I can say I want the background color to be red and I also want the text color to be white. You can see I separated two of them by a semicolon here and saved. Once you save it, you can go back to your website, refresh it, and you can see now the text color is white and the background is red. Now, what if I want to add some comments in my CSS file? Now, to do that, we have slash star. This is my first comment. And then you can just close it and done. So yes, this is so simple. So these are the simple ways in which you can write CSS, internal, external, or inline, or you can add comments to your file. Thank you so much for joining today's class. Thank you. I believe now you'll be able to work with CSS syntax easily. But if you have any doubt regarding this, you can comment that down below in the comment section and I will surely help you. If you like this video, please share it with your friends so that they can also take advantage of this course. Now, if you are looking for some course with certification, then I am putting down a link in the description box from where you can buy a certification course. Thank you so much for watching.